No fuel or pilot needed. A solar-powered plane unveiled today at the site in Calverton that once made fighter jets for the U.S. military. News 12 Long Island's Andrew Anger gives us a look inside the high-tech aircraft. Ushering in a new chapter in the island's aviation history. It's become commonplace for people to see electric, electric cars, and I, I think very, very shortly it's going to be commonplace for people to see electric aircraft. Luminati Aerospace CEO Daniel Preston unveiled the V0 Substrata solar aircraft today. It's designed to fly with or without a pilot, high above commercial aircraft for months at a time. Preston says its primary job will be communications, including beaming the internet to people in remote areas of the globe. I really can't think of anything that has a, would have a greater social impact on a global scale. Companies like Facebook and Google have expressed interest in similar technologies, but Preston won't say who Illuminati is working for. Now, of course, this being a solar electric battery powered aircraft, it is very quiet. Listen to that engine. You can barely hear it. And lots of people we talk to Notice the silence. Quieter than the uh, the crowd that's here, that, that's for sure. The V-0 was built at Calverton in the same hangars that Grumman Aerospace made the F-14 fighter jet. Preston says he'll be building more aircraft here, including one twice as big as the V-0, starting later this year. Grumman retiree Rich Freeborn is pleased to see airplanes once again being built on Long Island. It's good to see this type of industry coming back here for jobs. We lost all our jobs. In 19, what, 1993. In Calverton, Andrew Anger, News 12, Long Island. Wow. Pretty cool. It is. That plane looks really cool. Luminati Aerospace says it expects to complete production on its, its next aircraft. That'll be in Calverton, too, but that'll be before the end of the year. So okay. moving forward. And we get to see it. Well,